Welcome back and thank you for joining me with another Casino History video. Today we'll be talking about the Club Harlem or Harlem Club that was located in Reno, Nevada. Its location was 221 East Douglas Alley from 1948 until 1968. The Club Harlem would open before many clubs or casinos here in Nevada itself. Being one of the earlier clubs makes this place not only very mysterious in a way, but also makes the chips and everything from there very rare and highly collectible. While I was trying to find some information on this club, it was pretty hard to find some nice lengthy information, but I was able to find some stuff which we'll be talking about. Let's get into it. It was licensed for slot machines, poker, blackjack, craps, pan, and a chuck -a -luck. It was a place frequented by African Americans to go gamble and hang out since other clubs and casinos didn't allow them inside their establishments due to the discriminatory laws in place during these times. The Club Harlem was opened in 1946 by William Bailey. Bailey was a civil rights advocate and president of the Reno and Sparks NAACP while also being a part of all the operations at the Club Harlem. It was originally opened as a bar and was cited for illegal gaming before finally getting a license. In 1948, it was opened again by Eddie Jackson. Eddie Jackson at the time was well known in the entertainment field and had a pretty large following in Reno. He was named manager of the Club Harlem. Norval Embry would enter the picture in 1956 and was taken in by Bailey as a 40% partner of operations. The Club Harlem was located in what was known at the time as the Skid Row of Reno. Douglas Alley was sometimes called the busiest little street in the biggest little city, but sure did see some action. Douglas Alley was also home to other clubs like the Reno Casino, Bank Club, and Herald's Club. While the Club Harlem was located on Douglas Alley, it was a rough place that's for sure. There were persistent fighting and other disturbances. Within a few years of opening, Bailey was shot one night while dealing craps. With so many reports of disturbances at the Club Harlem, in 1956, it was placed off limits to military personnel for almost one year. The military personnel mainly being those from the Reno Air Base. On top of Bailey getting injured, there were all kinds of different shootings and other situations that happened during the life of the club. William Bailey would also get arrested for operating an unlicensed game. Then one of the club's pit bosses was arrested at the New China Club for cheating as well. After that happened, the club Harlem was required to deal out of a shoe. Then later on, the city council threatened to close the club because of several different health and fire violations. That didn't stop some outstanding performances from happening at the Club Harlem, though. At many times, you could find Sammy Davis Jr., B.B. King, Louis Armstrong, and Pearl Bailey as well. Pearl Bailey was actually the cousin of William Bailey, who was the owner. On top of performances, the Club Harlem was known as a leader in Nevada casino integration. It wasn't one of those places that didn't let you in because of X, Y, Z. They let anyone in, and that's how it should have been back in the day. Plus, the Club of Harlem was way before the Moulin Rouge, which would be a major influence on casino integration in Las Vegas. The chips they had at the Club Harlem consists of a 5 center, 10 center, dollar, 5s, and 25s. These chips can all be found on chipguide.com as well, just uh, for FYI. So not many of these chips, that's for sure, but there are they are unique and have so much history behind them. A majority of the chips read Club Harlem, but there is a $1 and a $5 that have NB hot stamped onto them, which stands for Normal, Norval and Bill Bailey, African American Club, according to the chipguide.com. In 1958, Embry would buy Bailey out of the club and took over as a sole proprietor. He would run the Club Harlem until 1968, when it would get renamed to the Soul Club, and that would run until 1977. Today, if you look up the address of 221 East Douglas Alley, 
it's a parking lot and a part of the Harris Reno parking garage. That was the history of the Club Harlem, which was located in Reno, Nevada. A dark history, that's for sure. And it's crazy to think about the story that one of those chips or dice would be able to tell. Thank you for watching another video, and I hope you enjoyed this one while learning about a club that not too many people know about, to be honest. If you have any more information, please put it down in the comments. Thank you again, and it's been Oscar, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. And I'm